Today, the president expressed his support, tweeting, quote, women are vital to the fabric of our society and our economy. Joining us is iconic fashion designer Diane von Furstenberg. She's not only a legend in the world of fashion, she is someone who has broken through many a glass ceiling in her own right. And each year, her foundation recognizes inspirational women dedicated to leadership and community impact through the DVF Awards. You can vote for those starting today. Among this year's nominees, a pioneer of anti-human -tra trafficking efforts and advocates of victims of family violence and sexual assault. Diane von Furstenberg, woman who dresses me in many rap dresses and John Berman in many rap All dresses. Of us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, I want to get to the awards in a moment, but I just, you know, as someone who was very vocal in the campaign and a supporter of Hillary Clinton's, what's your reaction to the, the president tweeting supporting women around the world? Do you think he's shown that? And what more do you want to see from him? Well, I, I, I am not going to get there. there. He's our president. I think it is, I mean, to say that women are vital is obviously obvious since we women give life i think it is important uh, i i felt like ever since i was a little girl that the women uh, women's movement got better or we had more and more rights and lately i feel like certain things are being questioned and therefore i think it is very important for all women to remember that they are women and to fight for their rights and uh, and to show their strength mm -hmm. because I've never met a woman who is not strong, but somehow, sometimes we forget it. And what do you think is being questioned now? What is missing now that you detect a change? Well, I think there's a certain attitude towards women and uh, so maybe a lack of respect, but I don't want to be a victim. This is not what it's about. Uh, I mean, Women's Day, Women's International Day is about celebrating women and celebrating the work that women do. Mm -hmm. And there are so many incredible women who do so many things for helping other women. Mm -hmm. And not only do they have the strength to survive difficult times, but then they have the leadership to inspire others. So let's talk about some of those women. I mean, this is the eighth year that you are hosting, your foundation is hosting the DVF Awards. And these are a, a big deal. And I was reading through the names of the women that, that are uh, being recognized for the extraordinary work that they do. You know, these aren't, these aren't movie stars or famous people. These are the people that uh, do just remarkable work that changes the world for the better. Why is it so important right now to showcase them? It's always important to showcase them. And what I do, with, I mean, the reason I have these awards is to really give exposure to these incredible women who may not be known, but who do so much. And I think that it's inspiring. To, I mean, for me, it is so humbling and inspiring to see the work of all these women. So for, I, I would welcome all of you to go on, DVF dot, on DVFAward.com and vote for, you know, one of these four incredible women it's you know one is about violence domestic violence and civic rights and and mentorship and uh, and anti-trafficking those are issues that are incredibly important and when you read about it when you you see about it it, it can only move you so please go on on dvfaward.com and vote I, I think these women are inspiring to everyone again men and women it's interesting today is international Women's Day, but some people here in the United States are also celebrating it a different way. They're calling it a day without a woman day. And there are people calling for strikes, whether it be at schools or, right. or businesses. It's a different way of looking at it, isn't it? What do you think of, of that way of looking at things? I think it's getting attention, right? Trying to, it's getting attention on how important women are and how much we must respect women. So everybody does it in their own way. Even the Statue of Liberty went dark. She wanted attention too. Yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a good point. Let, before you go, let me get your take on this. Some of your fellow designers have said they have, they're not willing to dress the first lady, one of the most recognizable uh, women now in, in the world. Um, you took a different stance. You, you said, of course, I would dress her. You respect the office. A first lady should be respected. What would you like to see from Melania Trump in the fight for women's equality? 
Oh, I don't know. That's not for me to say. Uh, I think that, you know, she's our first lady, and therefore we should respect her. She happens to be a beautiful woman. Uh, I am sure, I, I hope that she will find her way to, to pass on the message. I know she was talking about bullying, which yeah. is a very important thing. So, I mean, I, 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 that's not for me to say, but whatever she does, we will watch it and we will approve. All right, Tian Van Brook, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate your time. Appreciate what you're doing on this day. Thanks so much. And, and again, you can go to dvfawards.com and vote for some of those pretty remarkable.